Hi traders, Boeing starting down today over 2%, so it's a big gap down for Boeing and a continuation because if you will watch the daily you will see that it's very very likely to continue down. Don't do the big mistake of catching falling knives like Boeing usually continue with the trend and that's what I'm looking for today. So this is the third one minute candle and it looks like it's just about to have a nice reversal here under 370. I'm getting ready to short it, shorting now. Just shorted under 370, that's the whole number, and it's under the lows. Great, great. I'm risking approximately $1, so I would like to take a $1 partial. Just shorted 1,000 shares, and we are very close to the $1 mark, actually touching it right now. And under, almost under, now under. Getting ready for a partial, getting ready for a partial. Beautiful, one half dollar now. And more, and more. Taking now my partial. Took my partial, left just 200 shares in Boeing. Nice reversal and continuation, exactly what I was looking for. SYNA is down 17%. Now, what I like about SYNA is the momentum. Look at this bear flag. Bear flag is actually a momentum. Look at the lows, 35.41. But if it's going to come down under 35.50, it's going to crash down, in my opinion, because 35.50 is the semi-whole number. Look now, it's getting close. If it's going to come down under 35.50, I want to short it. Look at the number of buyers at 50. I'm shorting right now because I've seen the number declining. And here we go. Here comes 50 cents in SYNA. What a lovely, lovely breakdown. The thing is, I think this stock could and should come down under 35. I'm looking for a bit more here, although I'm a bit concerned from a pullback here. I would like to give it a chance to move under 35 because of the momentum. Facebook is down 2.4%. Nice reversal under 162, and we are very, very close to that point. I'm going to show 2,000 shares. So gap down, came down, reverses, I'm about to short, again watch the buyers and sellers at all time, now just move the cent under 162 and I click the button, I'm short Facebook, it looks quite the same, as you can see this one started down, but you always always look for a pullback, you never move in before you see a pullback, a pullback is your reversal mark, and here comes the lows, and here comes a new low, and we're going, and Facebook looks great, and I'm getting ready for a partial here, 1700 shares, actually 1800, clicking now, took my partial in Facebook, what a lovely breakdown, exactly as it should be, gapping down, reverses, and moves to a new low. I missed two long opportunities in Disney, and right now I missed a second. So it just moved to a new high. I'm getting ready on this pullback to go long now. It moved to a new high, which is at 1313.16. I just bought now at 1.13.44. Now, it may look to you like my standard short game. For example, a, short, a stock that is gapping down, reverses, and I should short it. But no, I posted it in the room today for a long because it's Disney and because it's down less than 2%. So when stock is not down more than 2 or 3%, I would usually look for a long for a gap to close. But it's not only this. It's Disney, and people love to buy this stock when it's down. You have to remember, big, well-known companies, people love to buy them when they're down. They always think, yes, they're going to come back, especially when they're down only 1.3% as Disney right now. So I'm expecting Disney to move up in the direction of closing the gap. I'm long. SYNA is about finally to break down under 35 and just did, just did, good. Look at the sellers at 35 now, and the buyers, although just a cent lower, are probably going to fail soon. Look at the number of buyers, it's getting down, and we're moving down. Good. Just crashed down under 35. That was my target. I'm getting ready for a partial. At any sign of a pullback, at any sign of a pullback, watching the buyers, watching the sellers. Watch the sellers now at 85, the buyers at 75. If this balance is going to change, I'm going to click the button. Good. Sellers just moved to 70. 69, moving up a bit, 76. Any pullback, I'm going to click that button. Well, any 10 cent pullback or so, now 67. I won't let it move over 75 or so. If it moves higher, 
Now it's 70, 80, clicking the button. Got it at 70, no, actually at 80. So first sign of a pullback, and I've got S, Y, and A exactly where I wanted. That was the entry point right here, and look at this nice continuation. And finally, break down under 35. Here comes Disney, new high. I bought it at 40 something, now I have 30 cents profit in Disney. Again, it just reached my target, so any sign of a pullback, Buyers at 76, 75, 76. Watch the buyers at all time. 75, they're going to come down just slightly. I'm going to click the button. 76, 77, 78. Good. Any sign of a pullback, I'm going to click the button. Now it's a bit down. 76, 75, clicking the button. Move down by three cents. That's enough for Disney. Took my partial. And again, a stock that gap down and move to close the gap. And I just asked my trading group member to tell me how much they're doing. And look at the numbers here. Well, most of them are in green territory, some in red. But look at the numbers. We'll be, we've been trading for just 15 minutes. Uh, $180, $600, $93, $123, $220, $124, $125, $130, $140, $150, $160, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170, $170,